came back in the studio for real. Okay, guys, what's up? <laughs> I have three things I need to address. Okay. One, my hair is wet, not greasy. Okay. Two, I love you guys so much. All right. Three, I broke your identity. What was that? Welcome back to the podcast presented to you by Pirate Water P-Dubs, our favorite drink in the world. And guess what? Dry January ends tomorrow and we're going to be guzzling this bitch down. What flavors are we going to drink? We're going to be drinking margarita. Mm -hmm. We're going to be drinking Bahama Mama. Mm -hmm. We're going to be drinking Miami Vice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be drinking Sex on the Beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's under $2. It's 10% ABV malt beverage. It's 10% to it get you fucked up. And it's also cheap. And if you're listening right now and you participated in Dry January, you deserve to order yourself one on GoPuff. Yeah. Or, or go, go to Walmart. Yeah. Or drink Pyrewater.com to find where you can find it. And just walk right into the store and grab it yourself. Yeah. This whole podcast is brought to you by Pyrewater. I can't wait to guzzle one down. Damn straight. Three. I broke dry January. What was that? I broke dry January. You broke dry January. Yeah, you already know this. I texted you immediately when I broke it. I know. <laughs> I had a glass of wine in Paris. Fuck you all. Yeah, I mean... I. <laughs> You you would be remiss if you didn't. And I was gonna tell you guys because I want to do a live stream, but now you can't. Are you gonna come on it with me? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You don't have to. I know, but like, it's way more fun. I know. If you come in for a little bit, I'll come in. Okay, and I'll come okay, in. Okay, here's the deal. We're I'll gonna pop be in. in. We're gonna be in Vegas. So if you want me to do seventy two hours, you're gonna have to wait until what's the next month after February? March. So if you <laughs> want me to just do twenty four hours, I could get it done in Vegas, or I could get it done in L A. Well, you twenty four hours me. in the hotel room in Vegas. It seems like a wasted day. Let's just call it March. Okay, that just seems like I'm making them wait so long. Oh, it feels like about the end of February. An unfair punishment. What about the end of February? I could do the end of February. Yeah. Okay, cool. That could totally work. Dude, I was like, dude, fuck you, beast. Like, you're, <laughs> you're in Paris, and you're so happy and excited. And I, w I cracked on the last day, mm -hmm. and I had a glass of red wine. Never had red wine in my life. Yeah. Oh, my God. And did you like it? I did. Yeah. I liked it. You did? <laughs> I did. I liked it a lot. Uh-oh. Here we go. Um, but I was I was sitting every day, Zach's drinking, enjoying everyone's drinking, like mm -hmm. morning to night in Paris. Oh, yeah. Is that how they live their life? It seems as so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. And honestly, it wasn't even that bad. I'm like, I'm not going to drink. And then I went to Amsterdam, and I had a um, a happy tears moment. Like, mm. I, we went out on the boat. I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam my whole entire yeah, life. Yeah, always talked about it. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm just so happy. Like, I could cry right now. Like, life is so awesome. I'm so freaking excited. And why the fuck? Like, there's no rules. It's my dry January. Like, yeah. I always act like the whole time I was doing it, I was acting like there was a gun to my head. Yeah. And, like, I was going to get arrested if I broke. Well, you were doing it for yourself. I know. So yes. that's why I was like, I felt guilty. But then I was like, dude, last night I'm in Paris. I'm never probably gonna come back mm -hmm. and i'm gonna have a glass of wine but now i'm wishing i had a bottle of wine no it was just a glass like actually it just a actually glass actually just a glass what of about wine? two glasses was no. it maybe two glasses no it was just one glass it was just one glass of wine ah oh, dude pregnant ladies have that i know <laughs> i was like i wasn't even drunk either gosh i was like but it tasted good oh dude i, I felt a little like this Ooh. oh mm -hmm. like a little fluttery yeah oh my god and i didn't regret it no of course not i didn't i wish i drank more it's it's one in rome but one in paris exactly and actually i texted you before you went i said i would totally understand if you broke my mm -hmm. mom's biggest regret when she was our age she went to italy and she didn't drink any wine why it, she wasn't doing dry january she just so it was like she no. just assumed she didn't like wine oh my god and she regrets it to this day. Yeah, I'm really happy because I knew it was the last night. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to regret it so much if I don't even get a little, if I don't get a little something. I mean, per, per, Parisians make wine, right? I did shrooms in um, Amsterdam. Yeah. But I microdosed. And but I guess that's kind of breaking dry January too because we said we weren't doing anything. I didn't. I never said that. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. Um, so I broke that, I guess. But that doesn't count as drinking. No. It's California sober, baby. Get with it or get lost. Mm -hmm. They didn't really work, though kind of pissed about that wait so you go to wait, explain that explain going to the store oh my gosh or let's start at the very beginning at paris yes I, yeah, I would love to know paris oh okay we get to paris we have this incredible hotel grace mm. uh, we have the suite which looks straight to the eiffel tower it's some tumblr shit it was incredible can we include photographs we can include as many photographs Perfect, as we want oh these are God. awesome photographs so many amazing photographs and it was honestly a very chill awesome uh, vacation because it's about to be crazy Zach's going back on tour so we were like let's just do a little something something a little rendezvous it was like kind of like a, is that the right word for this yeah I believe you rendezvous I don't know anything hmm. fact check you're beautiful so it matters oh my god right back at you what are you looking in a mirror <laughs> god, okay let's get girl. it <laughs> okay let's get this shit um fucking it was just awesome we kind of just wanted to be like together but alone when we were there so we kind of like just a lot of silence, a lot of hanging out, a lot of chilling. Mm -hmm. And then we went and explored Paris and went to Amsterdam. And we rode a tandem bike. Okay, well, let's get back to Paris real quick. Okay. First day you went to... Um, 
Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. I went to Louvre <laughs> the next day. How do you say it? I think the Louvre. The Louvre. I don't know. I love you. <laughs> okay, I was so I love you too. Um, I was so scared. I don't know. If there was like this big misconception or um, stereotype that Parisians hate Americans and that they're so mean. It was. I think we might have said it personally on this podcast about twenty times. Every time we talk about it, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, I never want to go to Paris. I never so want to go to Paris. Always. And they're so mean. And it's so stinky there. It's not stinky there. <laughs> Maybe in the summer, but it was cold. And they were so nice, like overwhelmingly nice. Everyone. I don't know. It just was a beautiful city then you come back here and you're like oh nothing's made with beauty anymore well yeah it was um that's well i guess finish that thought like back in the day they made things to be beautiful Mm -hmm. and now we just now we just build to build build it up yeah Yeah. just build to have places to live but everything there is still so old and so beautiful like you walk around and you're like holy shit i can't believe this is a real city people live in like that's how i felt oldest things go here is like 1800s yeah yeah, oh, fat chick, me. Are you beautiful? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not okay. uh, but, dude, yeah, it was crazy. The Lerve was sick. Yeah. Uh, big art girl. That was sick. Yeah. I was, like, fascinated. And you spent three hours there? Yeah. That's cool. It was so cool. And, uh, yeah, what else did we do in Paris? We kind of just, like, Eiffel Tower. ate dinner. Eiffel Tower was awesome. Um, It was way huger than I thought. Yeah, dude. It was looking pretty huge in those pictures. Dude, I had so many fun facts about it because of you. <laughs> I was busting my facts out when you I didn't, got to Paris. You didn't have a Bloody Mary, though. I didn't. Ernest Hemingway's. I know. I know. You but saw where he lived? I did. I saw his first apartment. Zach's obsessed with Ernest Hemingway, so he was reading Movable Feast for, like, 20th time. We talked a lot about Ernest Hemingway. Um, now, 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 he's a book writer or a poet or both? Uh, he's an author. Okay. Yeah, but he writes beautiful words, so maybe he's a poet, too. All right. Yeah. Ernest he, Hemingway. He, I know he, the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it's just so, so crazy because he's so old and his book is, like, written how we would talk. Like, really? he was born so long ago. Like, and fuck shit, bitch. You got a donk on your ass? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. It's Ernest like, had way with words for real. It's, like, timeless. Real. <laughs> it's crazy. It was cool. And uh, Paris was awesome. We took the train to Amsterdam, rode tandem bikes around, went to the red light district, saw all the prostitutes. Mm. That was hot. That was cool? Uh, yeah. To each their own, I suppose. I was scared. I just felt like, um, oh, my God, I'm scared. Really? Mm-hmm. It was just like dark alleys. It was kind of sad. They put the really beautiful prostitutes on the pretty alleys, and then they put the old, oldies in like these little dark alleys. Oh. It was really, I don't know. The- and they were for a cheaper price. Oh. Mm-hmm. Was there, okay, so now it I'm It was fascinating. Na- I'm naive. Is They have signs? Yeah. Like, pork for 30? Okay. okay, so you walk, like you walk down the alleys, mm-hmm. and it's- like a Barbie doll case. It's like this little skinny room. There's a bunch of them lined up. They're standing in the window, and mm-hmm. it's like a medical bed. You know when you go, like you lay, go to the hospital. Oh, gurney. It's a gurney bed like that, with like, sh- like the paper that like pulls over, and it's like this little hospital room, and they're just in the window, like come in, come in. Oh wow. Yeah, it was it was cool. Um, is that considered a brothel? No, it's just the oldest profession in the world. Oh uh, yeah, it is. And it's um, they're just it's very normal there. Like, yeah, it's not crazy at all. No, it's just crazy to us because. But it was it was so shocking because mm-hmm. we're not used to it. So that's why I was a little like, whoa. Yeah, that's a little scary to me. I don't know. We we always said if we went to Amsterdam, we we had to check out the red light. It was scary to me because I was seeing the guys that were going to the girls, and I'm like, I'm scared that they're gonna get oh hurt. Tough tough crowd going up there <sighs> nothing like seeing a dude the dude that walks up to these places mm. and then walks out and you're like you're fucking gross they have a little <laughs> more pep in their step you see a smile at these I guys didn't see walking any out? good dudes like it wouldn't be a good mm. dude i saw going into this <sighs> you know it was daytime though maybe <laughs> oh d- oh yeah it's <laughs> like happy hour are, those guys are crazy for going geriatric dinner <laughs> midday <laughs> yeah um but wow. yeah i only saw it in the day but the girls were they're just like me and Zach are walking. They're just like, no, come in to Zach. I'm like, dude, come on. I just say, hey, just dude. come on now. <laughs> um, but it was crazy. And yeah, like I said, the side alleys had the um, the older ladies. Older. Mm-hmm. We talk a geriatric. Yeah. Wow. It was fascinating. That I could have walked. It, I could have walked around the ho- for my whole life there. I want to move there. Everyone oh. lives on boats. We need to go there and we need to rave. And it's electro. Oh, dude. It is, dude, it is everything we love. But and you went for a day trip, so you didn't get to go. I went for a day boom, trip. Boom. Didn't go boom boom because we took the train in at eight. We got in at noon and we had to t- get the train back by six. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like you, I feel like you covered a lot of ground though. Oh, we 
busted it out. We you saw gotta, all of Amsterdam. We did the boat ride, rode through all the canals, and then we rode a tandem bike through everywhere. Well, the tandem bike is fascinating. So that's the so two pedal one for everyone listening at home that does, so can't really funny. think of it off the top of their head. Because I was th- I was here on tandem bike, and I'm like, I know what that means, but I <laughs> I gotta look it up. Uh-huh. Tandem bike. Tandem bike. Two people. Mm-hmm. Four pedals. Dude, How'd it go? I, I was so scared to do it. And Zach's like, we have to do it. I'm like, I don't want to do it because I was scared we were going to fall. Yeah. So glad we did it. Oh, my it God. It was so funny. We're just riding around. Hello. <laughs> hello. Because you say hello is hello in mm-hmm. Dutch. So we were just riding around saying hello. Hello. <laughs> Everyone was laughing at us. It was awesome. That was probably the best day of my life. And you didn't use your phones. No, we didn't use our phones Which at all. Which is sick. I know. I wish I had more pictures to show you because you were asking and I was sent... The only pictures I took were the ones I sent you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but I took film pictures. Th- it still gave me an idea yeah, of what was, the hell was going on. It was epic. Um, Best trip ever. Those film pictures are phenomenal. Yeah. It also did make me realize though, like... Every other vacation we go and we get super wasted. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I totally didn't need to be wasted to really enjoy it. Yeah. Like, and I woke up early every morning. I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm sick. I don't want to walk around all day. Yeah. Like, I just felt good. Like, ready to go. Yeah. I mean, I I think it has a lot to do with the the end of dry January as well. Yeah. But uh, we're done tonight. We're done tonight. Mm -hmm. And we have um, Countess Luann's big cabaret now that you know what it is tomorrow. Oh my God. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, What are you going to wear? Well, got to have our statement necklaces i need to buy one i am not gonna wear one because oh, i don't particularly <laughs> particularly i don't particularly know what the hell i should get for a statement necklace i used to rock the fuck out of some chevron and statement necklaces oh with my a peplum God. skirt every uh, single day in 2014 like we could add 10 pictures right here mm-hmm. statement necklace statement statement piece, statement, statement i was charming charlie's oh my god that was the place to rip Francesca's. oh my god uh fucking what's it called deb Deb. No, 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 no. Charles. Oh Charles. my gosh, Charles should die for their lace. Oh, oh my god. Lace. Yeah, the pump, high pump to low, mm-hmm. Pump mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. The high to low dresses with a oh. little skinny, a uh, little skinny belt. Oh my god. Oh my I, god. I am picturing. I am mm. picturing just the one. That's oh gonna god. come back at with some point. You know that, right? Hair. Mm. Oh my god. I'm still rocking that scrunched hair. No, me and Grace used to have a rock hard hair where if the wind blew, the whole hair would go to the back, and you could kill someone with it. It was so hard. It was crazy. A whole tube I would use of Gel X. I c- a whole thing, and I. It was it was actually sick for me because I just I go in my dad uh, go in my dad's straw yes. and just use his gel. Me too, Gel X. Fucking dude gel. Mm-hmm. The one That's spiky why it was so dude hard. gel. That's it why our hair so was so hard. hard. We weren't using the right one we at weren't, all. But we rocked it, man. Oh, uh, we rocked it, and I would do a wet poof. I would do a wet poof too. Mm. Sometimes I would blow dry my poof, straighten it, <laughs> and then scrunch the rest of my red hair. <laughs> Oh, I gotta put in some of those photos. Oh, those are those are good ones. Those are good. Wow. And that's also just the another reason why I just think I can't do my hair. I just uh, I I used to try and straighten it, and then everyone would be like, "Dude, that's some bushy ass hair." And I'm like, "You know what? I guess I don't know how to do it. I'm not doing it anymore. I Gone." Think because <laughs> you used to straighten it wet. Yeah. And she would only straighten the front pieces, mm-hmm. literally like just these pieces. But here's the thing: it. I thought I was getting the whole head. Yeah, I know. I truly believe, dude. I know it was equal all around, and it was. Lying like this. Then I look at pictures and it's like this yeah. with, with curls in the back. Well, that's Potty everyone. in the front and in the back. Everyone in middle school, they were walking and then they turn around and the back is crazy. Like, yeah. What do you just have sex in the fucking fifth period? <laughs> Why does your hair look like that in the back? Dude, but. Um, is this yeah. in the front, party in the back? Your, that's, uh, sorry, your I hair was to get epic. That right. Your hair was absolutely <laughs> epic, man. Yeah, dude. Your hair got less curly. Remember how like kinky it was? Yeah, it was. It was crazy. It used to be really nuts. It was like. But when Grace used to scrunch her hair, oh. it was hard. It was hard and curly here, and then the b- bottoms would be pin straight. Yeah, what? I think it's still like that. No, your no, hair's gorgeous. Not. Something. <laughs> no, it's not. Something happened good, but <laughs> something good happened. Something bad was happening. Something bad was happening because it was crunchy, crunchy, crunch, and straight ends. Uh-huh. It was like I was trying to start a fad. <laughs> <laughs> you did, man. Mm, you yeah, I had it. everybody like <laughs> <laughs> fucking Regina George style crunching their hair like that <laughs> oh my god my lips are falling off uh, did your shit. lips get super pale in the summer um in the winter y- yes i i just started using chapstick Ugh. because we both got chapstick I think handed it, to us i think it's a placebo chapstick i can't stand chapstick i think it makes your lips more chapped so you keep I applying so and too. buying yeah i think so too once i started using it now i'm chapped up but it feels so good it does feel good and it looks nice it's like shimmery i want to kiss Dude, I kiss d- me look at my lips right i got my uh my adderall back and i i I bit the hole inside of my mouth. Oh, that's a we got We got scar tissue in there. Uh, <laughs> how are you feeling? It's fine. Okay. But you're happy you got pills back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm happy you got pills Dude, back. Dude, it's, it's very important. It is important. It's very huge. important. It's it crazy very important. what the switch up is there. I got nurse's elbow. 
Yeah, okay, that runs in your family. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said, Grayson, what are you talking about? I think it runs in my family. I ain't got no nurses in your family. We you talk about <laughs> uh, Can we look up what nurse's elbow is? Because I think I definitely have it. Why are you calling it that? That's what it's called. What is it? I don't know. Look it up. I don't know the out. definition. I just know I have it. Nurse's elbow. See? For parents. What's it mean? <laughs> it's common injury amongst toddlers and <laughs> preschoolers. <laughs> Right. It happens when a ligament slips out of place and gets caught between two bones in the elbow joint. Nurse's elbow, also called a uh, pulled elbow. So I got nurses. I got a pulled elbow. Oh yeah, I'm, grow up. I'm a it's pulled elbow. I got nurses elbow. Are you going through growing pains? I got nurses elbow. It runs in my family. I don't know what else to say. It hurts real bad, G. You're old enough to. Get- Ow! Oh, yeah. dude, I can't even go like this. Ow! Preschooler, you're acting like a preschooler. It hurts so Where's bad. Where's your Apple Watch, preschooler? Dude, I keep forgetting <laughs> to charge it. I'm over it. <laughs> I knew it. I'm so over That's it. That's exactly Fuck what that. happens. When are you gonna charge it? When are you gonna charge it? Because you need it all day to track your steps, and you need to sleep with it to track your sleep. But when the fuck are you gonna charge it if you need to wear it all the time? I don't know, man. When you shower? That. It's it's just one of those things. iPads, Apple Watches, they're really fun that first week. Never touch me after that. I'm going to put my wrist candy back on. <laughs> wrist candy. Rana texted me about her wrist candy this morning. She said, let's have a phenomenal podcast. Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. Hashtag wrist candy. And I didn't even wear it. Dude, the only wrist candy I got is a ponytail with some hair on it. Ugh, you always around have my a wrist. ponytail on. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of gadgets, I got a new one. Where? It's coming. When? Soon. Sure. To a podcast studio near you. What? Wow. What? What fun did you get? The titanium. One? I got the fucking beast. I said, "Beast me up, daddy." Did you have a um upgrade? No, I paid off my phone. <coughs> Wait, I'm confused. I had to pay off my phone <coughs> to get a new phone. But did you have to pay full price for your new phone? Yeah. Isn't it like two thousand bucks? Yeah. It's like a. It's, it's like a monthly a, payment. It's pretty much a laptop. Doing a monthly payment. Oh, nice. No problem. Didn't have to pay probate. It was more like that Klarna. Pardon? Klarna phone. You uh, I got phone. one of them Klarna phones. You got that phone on layaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch. bitch. Uh, I remember those days I was putting shit on layaway. Mm-hmm. Mama, how you do it? Mm-hmm. Drake came out with a cologne. Oh, my God. Did you see the, the, the advertisement? The video of everyone it's, going. It's so perfect. <sighs> it's yeah. so Drake. I know. Um... I thought that was a great, great ad. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I think it was phenomenal. No, you know truly, what I though. think it was? <laughs> GBT approved. It was. I know. Mm-hmm. I saw that on the way in here. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I uh, wish. I don't know how she does that. Can you try? How do you fucking? Oh. You can't whistle. You can't do that. You can't do the GBT My stamp tongue's of too approval. Long. My tongue's too long. Because look what I can do. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Look how long we can double zoom in on that. <laughs> How long is your tongue? I can't. I have too many cuts in my mouth. It's gross. Oh, gross. Yeah. Ugh. It's not going to look cool you on camera. You wash it out with salt water. <laughs> yeah. I got to go to the nurse. You got to gargle it. You got to go to the nurse's office and gargle some salt water. Wait, fuck. I wanted to talk about something celebrity gossip-wise. Okay, let's jive Peyton, right into what it. what was it? What, what, what was it? We were talking about it, and I said, I'll save it for the pod. I said it to you. I said, well, we'll save it for the pod. Oh, oh. Uh, is it even important? I almost called her Whitney Barker. Alabama Barker. Alabama Barker. She's a hate hater. <laughs> She's a hate hater? She was hater in Montana. What the fuck? Why? Do you know the beef? No, I don't know the beef. Oh my god, let me put it out for you. Right, okay. So, Lay it out. Okay, so let's go back a few years. Okay. Alabama Barker was in Tana Mojo's DMs being like, You're so beautiful. I She's in preschool hang at the time. Uh pretty much, yeah. Okay. How far are we back are we going? Um, I think I literally don't know. Why are you asking me so much important questions? You said you want to lay it out for me. I just have to know the details. I'm going to lay it out as much as I can, but it's not, I can't lay it out Should've too prefaced. big. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so let's lay it back out. Right. No details I have, right. but I have some. Tana Mojo yes. gets DMs from Alabama Barker mm-hmm. being like, hey, you're so beautiful. Um, I want to hang out, blah, blah, blah. Um, where'd you get your hair done? Who's your hairstylist? All that stuff. And then Tana just keeps like, this was before she was a Kardashian. Okay. So uh, she was like answering her and she was being nice. She like let Alabama Barker come to her birthday party. And, She's like, still Travis Barker's daughter. Yeah. Which and is lit. That's dope. <laughs> um, um, and uh, Tana kept being nice to her. They were hanging out, whatever. She let Alabama come to her birthday party and bring like all of her friends and like got them a table, got them set up, whatever. They keep DMing. She keeps asking for her hair. She like gives her the hair lady, whatever. And then Tana realized that she unfollowed her. And she was like, oh, that kind of sucks. But oh. whatever. She still, like, would comment. They would comment on each other's pictures and whatever. Oh. And um, then someone commented on Alabama Barker's TikTok. It's giving Tana mongoose. And Alabama Barker responded, no, thank you. And what Tana the was heck? like, dude, you were literally in my comments trying to look like Tana mongoose asking for my bleach and tone and my tape and extensions. And you were 
all over my dick. And then you're saying, no, thank you. What the fuck? And she was like, I get it. She's young. But even when I was young and when we were young, we you don't say that. You just don't respond to the comment. Yeah. And you, do, you don't disrespect somebody who's so very kind to you. I would like to say also, Tana has, is nothing but um, nothing but kind in real life, too. Always. Like, she's just so, like, she really... When I was in Hawaii, she brought me in as if we've been friends for the past 15 years. Dude, which yeah. Which she made me feel like. And Same. First time I went to LA, so nice. Didn't have to be. Yeah. Like, tart trip, Hawaii, always nice. Yeah. It's just, it's, and I mean, I guess that's just Alabama Barker trying to be big dog. I think big dog him. She big dog him? I don't want to be a Kardashian if that means my heart's not gold. Yeah. Right? Yeah, what the hell? I don't it's like a Kardashian, Kardashian effect. <laughs> I don't want that Kardashian effect <laughs> fucking up my heart. <laughs> I want my heart to be gold. I want my heart to be like Tana Mongoose. I want to wear my heart on my sleeve like that, like my my good friend Tana. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I like that. Oh, more more canceled topics. Yes. Um, um, because it's this all is canceled the um the after show. This is canceled the after show. <laughs> I just want I saw that on TikTok. My my whole for you page is canceled clips, but they're not from canceled. Mm. They're from other people posting. Oh yeah, and it also the uh the basement podcast. Oh my god, that's all. Those it's guys just all me they oh run god. the podcast they world. Are they so are funny. the saving unsung heroes of the podcast world, and they deserve everything. Everything. I never I have never seen them on my for you page and skipped a video. No, ever. 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 Both of them. And I have never watched a video and not laughed. Oh my god. And I I like it's hard for me to like laugh out loud at videos. Yeah. I like <laughs> well, yeah. That's fucking funny. Uh. Yeah, they're just good. They're just funny. And well, they've been best friends forever like us. I know. Dude. I, w- we got to get them on here. I know. That's this got to get them on here. We're copying an exact segment from them on this podcast. That's how much we love them. <laughs> like we really? saw I saw it last night. I go, "Do we have to do this? They're so funny." They're so fucking funny, dude. Uh, they're just they, And they're quick and they're I mean, yeah, they just they just get it. We I get them to a T. Yeah, so that's my whole for you page is yes. them and then I, I guess my podcaster, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and oh, then yeah. it's the cancel podcast. That's but like Elgro. did you see Clinton Kane's song about Brooke Schofield? I saw that he made a song. I didn't. I I actually saw he popped up, and I was like, oh, this fucker. And mm-hmm. so I scrolled past. But mm-hmm. what is the song? Worst mistake ever was being with you. Oh But I my can't God. get you out of my head. How Dude. are you gonna say that about her when you were her worst mistake ever? Literally. Where's your family? You're a psychopath. Yeah, you're crazy. You're scary, and it's scary that people like that are still allowed to make music and have fans oh my god he still has fans kicking i I mean yeah (sighs) they must not know the full truth i mean yeah i I mean how do you support how do you support a crazy person who lies about their dead parents maybe the people that support him lie about their dead parents Mm. that are alive so they're all a bunch of psychos Mm -hmm. he calls his fans psychos hey shout out out all my little psychos oh shout out gabby hannah (laughs) what she's a ymc instructor ymcma instructor okay and she doesn't do social media ymca oh that's how you say it (laughs) okay ymca instructor and i thought you were saying um why why ymb um ymcmb Young money, cash money, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> right? I thought you. I thought that's what you say. No, no, no. I'm kind of just like floating away from the Nikki train right now. It seems like there's a lot of things in hot water. Yeah, no, there's a lot. I mean, uh, pff, me gonna talk about it? No, thank you. <laughs> I saw, I saw, um, Spencewa. He said, I already saw, I already saw one little white twink get canceled and ripped away for talking about this. I'm not talking about this. <laughs> so I will stand by that. Yeah, I am not gonna talk about nothing. I have no business talking about. No, thank you. Mm-mm. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, YMCA. Yes. Gabby Hanna is just doing her own thing, and she's a YMCA instructor now. Okay, good Why for her. Why is that so hard for me I, to say? I suppose. She she was going through some, some trial, trials. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying good for her. Good I'm for happy her. for her. Yeah. She's off social media, and she's doing that. Uh, that's, okay, cool. I was just thinking about her, so I figured I'd tell you. Shit, you'd you be, you be pillow talking with Gabby Hanna. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I'm just pillow talking with a bitch. Ha. So, how um, you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Anything? I, I, uh, do, do you feel as if uh, you've summed up your whole uh, Paris trip? Yeah. Perfect. Pretty Perfect. much was great. Oh, we forgot to mention that um, Zach was the one who outed you. 
Oh yeah, but I was gonna say it on the podcast anyways. Yeah, which is annoying. It was just a day a day ahead. Yeah, I like, know. Gosh darn. Because then it makes it look like I was lying because he deleted it. Yeah, but I was gonna tell the podcast. Which yeah, sucks. You got nothing to hide. It yeah. was it was actually really sca- like it was um <laughs> I felt like I had to immediately when I had the glass of wine I sent you a picture. Yeah, I said oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Telling on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had to. I couldn't. I couldn't lie. But Mm-mm. um yeah. I All right, it. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, call me the best. I bet that bitch lied. <laughs> Mm. Everyone, every one of those presidents lied. Oh, I'm watching this show right now. It's called uh, All of Mankind. I think it's called. It's it's terrible acting, I will say, but the mm-hmm. concept's good enough to keep you watching. Okay. It's what would have happened if the Soviets got to the moon first, wow. and how um, if we just kept up with uh, space exploration, how far, like what advances we'd make mm-hmm. in science, and it's fascinating. What's on? It's on uh, Apple TV. Apple cool. TV makes movie style television shows. I like that. They do a phenomenal job at their television shows. It makes me like telev- mo- television more than movies. <laughs> television movies. Television movies. They got television movies. Apple's doing and it. And I'll right. go on any of their shows. You know what sucks? Uh, what? You paid 20 bucks to buy one of those movies. Pardon? Yeah, to rent it. It's 20 bucks when it just came out. That's yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> well, you could go to the movie theater get the full experience. Ah, dude. I'm never going back after that Wonka experience. The Wonk Wonk. Oh, yeah, dude. Wonk, <laughs> wonk, wonk Wonk Wonk. That was terrible. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Dude. Dude, what a bad day for us. I'm so glad we're up now. Oh, uh, we're up now. Listen, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Nope. Game Time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? I got tickets to Bert and Tom in vegas wow through game time wow yep last minute mm-hmm. they, i thought they were all gone nope mm-hmm. still there on game time wow epic yep. i got some phenomenal seats for a low low price and you're gonna have some epic laughs because i'm gonna of game time i'm gonna laugh my little ass off You're i can't wait to see off. these fellas mm-hmm. thanks to game time in new in in la in las vegas <laughs> <laughs> game time owes you an ass well here's the thing game time can get them anywhere Mm -hmm. all right so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code plan brie for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem code plan brie for twenty dollars off download game time today last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed i'm going to the grammys next oh my god how do we how do we i'm going to the oh my god and my dreams came true what happened hallelujah scissors performing oh yes that's right oh my god remember when the first um oh Okay, remember when the first <laughs> people were announced that were doing the performances? Yes. And I was a little bummed. Yeah, because you... Because I've seen half of them already, and because I personally didn't care if it wasn't SZA. You were hoping for SZA and Miley Cyrus. I was. Mm-hmm. And I'm still I'm still holding out for Miley Cyrus mm-hmm. because she did have the number one song ever yeah. of the year, so maybe <laughs> she should sing it. I don't Wait, know. did you see what I put on my story today? What? It was, <laughs> um, it was this meme that popped up, and it says... Uh, she had 12-year-olds fighting for their lives against their oh, friends and family. <laughs> and I said, I'll never forgive my mom for not letting me go to this concert. That's so true. I had to fight my mom to go. Dude, I was, I had, I think I had, I was going, put them up. Mm-hmm. I had my own cash waving it in her face saying, just put this on your card. Oh. I didn't have a debit card. How, <laughs> how bad did it suck being a kid and only having cash? Oh, my God. And you could never buy anything online like the Kylie Lip Kit. Oh, my God. I was like, here, this is cold hard cash. Put it in your bank account and get me this ticket now. It's my money and I want to know. I had to move out of my house for two days <laughs> because I stole my mom's credit card when the Kylie Lip Kit dropped. Oh, yeah. And I bought $200 worth of Kylie Lip Kits. And my mom doesn't get mad, okay? She literally does not get mad. Like, you have to do something wrong to get her mad. And I've obviously never stolen her credit card before, but I was like, dude, I have to. You get, have to. You're I 16. The lip kit came out. The Kylie Lip Kit. And I don't have a debit card. Oh, my God. Mommy's credit card's in her purse. I'm going to fucking steal it. I'm going to oh. fucking steal it. No, I didn't. St- she gave it to me for, like, something else else and i was like and she specifically said i'm gonna check what is being bought on this you can only buy like lunch with this or something mm-hmm. so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking do it mm-hmm. i'm gonna fucking do it so I'm gonna it's fucking... an emergency it's like that um miley cyrus episode where she gets a credit card for an emergency <laughs> yeah she's like what it was an emergency <laughs> i literally i was home alone i went upstairs locked myself in the bathroom and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god Perfect. i was so scared i was like someone's gonna catch me and then i bought the lip kits and she immediately found how out how many did you buy Two hundred dollars worth. That, how much? How much did, do you think that was? Like four? Probably four. I think they were like sixty bucks each. That's crazy. That's gotta be quick. She made a man. killing, man. Dude, she made a <laughs> killing off me. And um, you know, what, you know how many kids probably stole their, their parents' cards to do such a thing? I know. So if you resonate, you resonate. <laughs> but uh, my mom found out. She comes home from work. Mm. 
I knew. I felt it. Ugh. You know when you know it? Yeah, you like, know it's Because coming. the door opens a different way. Oh, and, yeah. you, like, it slams a little louder than usual. The Dude. bag gets thrown harder than usual. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, I am in trouble. It's coming. Comes upstairs. The wrath and rage of a woman <laughs> I've never seen before. <laughs> I was unleashed on me. I'm sobbing. She's screaming, saying that I'm going to be going to jail. Oh, that I'm terrible. No. You cannot do that. You steal from your mother. I'm oh, like, stealing oh. from your... She has a point. I was like, you're so right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And uh, my cousins live next door. Mm-hmm. And I basically live there anyways but i literally was like i packed a hobo bag fight or flight i was like i'm fucking leaving okay what the fuck do you want me to do i'm fucking out of here so i'm sobbing i'm like whatever because i thought she was never gonna forgive me so i run to my cousin's house it's a school day so i have to stay there for two days i'm hiding out in my cousin's room i sleep there every night i have to wear her clothes to school i can't get my basketball shoes for practice because i'm too scared to go home and then two days later I went home. I called the credit card company and I said that it was fraud. She got mm. her money back and I got to keep the Kylie Lip kits. Ah, uh, dude. So you walked back two days having fun at your cousin's house mm-hmm. with a brand new pair of lips. Yep. <laughs> and it was the mocha color. <laughs> oh! It was the only ones left. So it was the dark brown. Oh, dude. You go give your mother a kiss. Say, I'm sorry. How you like that? Yeah. Oh, I'll never <laughs> it's mocha forget. brown on a cheek. <laughs> oh, mocha brown. Yeah, that was the scariest time of my life. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, that was nuts. Kylie Lip kits, man. So, yeah, Miley Cyrus and Kylie Love kids really fucking <laughs> changed hands our lives. Hands. Yeah. Dude, uh, have I ever said on this podcast, uh, one of my sisters, I won't name which one, uh, when she was way too young to be doing the Stevia shit, she was going into my mother's draw where she keeps her cash from bartending <laughs> and she was stealing like a little at a time. Oh, my little And, oh, uh, dude, she, like, she was way too young to be doing this. Mm-hmm. Like, so she was born devious. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I believe. Like, mm-hmm. you're just born that way sometimes. Yeah, no, she was born that way. She did we not give a that. fuck. Like my, like, my mom would be recounting her money. She thinks, like, she thought maybe, like, someone at work was stealing from her mm-hmm. or something. She's like, I don't know what's going on. And How then this little out? rugrat would come up to her and be like, like, hey, can we go to GameStop? I really want to go get Fortnite bullshit. <laughs> and my mom would be like, oh, like, yeah, do you have any money? Because, like, you don't just get Fortnite bullshit on a, on a Wednesday for fun at my house. You don't yeah. just get, like, a random gift. It's got to be, it's got to have a reason. And she's like, oh, no, it's actually Christmas money from, from Banna, our grandmother. And my mom was like, oh, yeah. And then this happened, a couple like, times. a couple <laughs> times. And then my mom was like, all right, I'm not understanding where all this money is coming from. If you, like, You're a I'm, child. Like, like I really like. Are they giving you like? Is she giving you like twenties on the low? Like, what's going on? And um, my mom put two and two together that she was stealing out of the drawer wow. a little at a time. Wow. Like a real like like devious shit. Yeah, that's bad. Not even giving a fuck. You stealing from your mother. You at least had some remorse. Dude, I was terrified, man. Dude, I was. Ter- I just needed those fucking lipsticks, man. Dude, I got the money back though. Uh, same sister also just recently said she she's at the age about the lip kits now you know who it is <laughs> she just said my mom was like oh do you want to work with me because they work together now mm-hmm. <sighs> go figure yeah you have tips are getting <laughs> stolen buddy she goes do you want to work with me coming up and she goes no, no no i don't need money right now it's not how working goes <laughs> that's not how that's not how that's not the way of life my man you gotta work till you have money when it's time to do things not when you need it <laughs> no i don't i don't need money right now. i don't need money right now i'm actually good i uh i worked till last week so i'll, I'll be good for oh, a, so a week 16 again <laughs> that's crazy so sick. Nah, it's, i don't need money right now she doesn't have work ethic but she knows how to scam yeah that's, I, I mean, that's work ethic it goes like, hand in hand as long as you oh she would get you so good she already got me she owes me like three hundred dollars wow dude, I, I don't even know how it happened are you serious? She's like, I've been boozled. <laughs> I just feel bad for her because I want to go have fun with her friends. Uh. And she's like, dude, can I have like a hundred bucks? I'm like, where are you, where are you going? Dude, she's going to the Travis Scott concert. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, she's going to rage hard with the fucking best friends. She's 16. You got to go to the Travis Scott concert, right? <laughs> she needed to go to the Travis <laughs> Scott concert. She's got to go to the Travis Scott concert. But I'm Bob Barker. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Yeah, sorry, kid. sis. Yeah. It's yeah. just funny. Dude, she eats through these guys too, man. <laughs> we can't she's do. We can't eater. do all. Oh, oh, we can't do dude, this. Dude, I just mean she's like ruthless. She's like, yeah, dude, she's, she's a badass. Heartbreaker. She's a heartbreaker. She's badass. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. Dude, she. Uh, she, she I well, I basically raised her when we were. Uh, when we were in middle school yeah. and high school, so I always she's had to go got to tendencies of mine because Grace was babysitting, mm-hmm. so it would just be the baby there. With and us. she was live entertainment. Oh my god, it was epic, dude! Have we ever talked about the video of her? I think we have. We have. There, there was this one video of her, and I was I was doing a mock <laughs> interview with her, pretending she was a celebrity, and it's like a she's five like minute four. video. She's so <laughs> young, and she has got spunk and charisma in that thing. Mm-hmm. She's say, I'm like, oh, like. 
um, do you have any new uh, makeup coming out? She goes, yeah, my perfume. It's called Perfect Presto. <laughs> <laughs> I always I say Perfect Presto every day. All the time. Of that. I quote this video so much. We quote it all the time. And then there's this other part where we're like, oh, and like, what do you call your fans? She goes, Strawberry Joes. Strawberry Joes. Oh, wait, uh, uh, my, no, my little Joe Joes. Mm-hmm. And I call one Strawberry Joe. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and they're twins like me. <laughs> Dude, we say it all the time. And the craziest and part. And then the, at the end is uh, the disturbing part where I say, <laughs> uh, oh, um, and what's your family life like? And she goes, well, I have no mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two guys cut her in the neck. <laughs> And then she starts dancing frantically. She gets up and does cartwheels and goes, hikes her pants up for fucking Maroon 5. It's 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 fascinating stuff. It's on YouTube if you want to check it out. Yeah, check it out. Smash Bo- that like Boston button. Boston Chicks with a Z. <laughs> oh, dude, you got to look at that. Those videos, videos are hilarious. Oh, my God. Those are so good. Uh, uh, JB Forever 58 if you want to check out some back handsprings. <laughs> and doing. my Jesse too. And my Jesse too. <laughs> Can't forget that. Dude, I would still think I have some uh, giveaways up there if you want to enter. <laughs> <laughs> dude, she was just making up that she had dude, giveaways I was to get followers. Scamming, you guys. Dude, it was so you and you and my me, sister should have got together. Me, <laughs> my cousin Sean, my cousin <laughs> Megan, we were like, all right, let's get these YouTube followers. <laughs> right? So well, here's what we're gonna do. We got one pair of beats. We're all gonna make a video, beats giveaway, right? <laughs> we're gonna have a bunch of people enter, but we enter on each other's channels, right? <laughs> so I win the beats from Sean, <laughs> she wins the beats from me, and Mega wins the beats from me. Marketing genius. We're like, dude. Easy, got like 500 subscribers, dude. I'm, I and mean, I'm just making videos. Yep, <laughs> giveaways going live soon. <laughs> I'm like fucking so, it's like 12 years old. It's crazy. <laughs> I remember like hanging out with you guys. Be like, sorry, I'm gonna make my giveaway video at. Uh, yeah, I remember. Aunt's house. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta post, man. I gotta get these <laughs> fucking God. subscribers up. And I did a Q and A. <laughs> Rest in peace, Talia Joy. Do you remember her? Yes. Um, I did a Q and A, but no one was asking me questions because mm-hmm. I didn't have any subscribers yet. This is before I figured out how to scam. Mm-hmm. And um. I just took all of her, I went to her Q&A, took all the questions. Ah. So I'm reading through questions, and it's like, like What's, what were you diagnosed going? with? And I'm like, I'm not diagnosed with anything. <laughs> and it's all of her questions, like asking about her life, and I'm just, it's still up. <laughs> That's incredible. It's incredible. The, the, the mind of a 12-year-old marketing genius. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. I'm like, no, I don't, um, no cancer here. Mm. It was crazy. How do you do your makeup so good? Mm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a it's a learned trade. I got the Kylie lip kits. And I had posters. <laughs> I was obsessed with Talia Joy. I had posters ever everywhere. When she passed away, I literally like was in my room for like weeks. That was crazy. Uh, no, I know. She was she was a, she, she was, was a, a she was the OG. She was a light. She was yeah, a light. She was an OG YouTuber. But yeah, I copied her Q and A's um <laughs> and uh scammed people to follow me. Hey. It worked. You do you're doing nothing different than everybody else. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a big buck in this big world. You ever see anyone get uh any of that makeup from those makeup artist giveaways? Never. I've never seen that. You know any one of those things I've entered growing up? <laughs> At least four thousand. Dude. Where's my makeup? I'm always getting tagged from my mom about giveaways. Me too. Somewhere. <laughs> All of our friends from home tag us in the giveaways and I'm like, Oh dude, this is epic. You're never gonna win. And I'm like, dude, until I feel one like day they're they scamming do. people. They are. I know exactly firsthand that they are. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I'm, I'm, um, hey, if you get scammed from a 12-year-old, that's on you. Except for, unless you're my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should yeah. just trust your kid. <laughs> yeah, trust your kid, man. Yeah. But um, I'm I'm better now. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. You don't do you don't What's it scamming? I'm re- reformed. I'm reformed. Reformed. I'm reformed. Refinery. Yeah. 29. So thank you guys for subscribing. <sighs> Thanks. On your own free will. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no uh, lies and deceit here. All nope. right, what you see is what you get, unfortunately. Which uh, a lot of the times, it's tough for us. Yeah, which is too damn honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say it a lot. It's yeah. too bad. I feel good about it though. Yeah, no, of course. I uh, I partied with a German DJ last week. Why don't you tell me about this? All right, so uh, basically, um, oh, is this Bunt? Bunt. Okay. Yes. Uh, his new album. Fire? Fred again style. Fire! Fire! Fireball! Really good stuff. Oh, good. Really good stuff. Uh, so he had a pop up. That's a home run! Oh, home run! Yeah. He's German. I don't know if they play ball there. Oh, okay. They play cricket. Hey, cricket! <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, he had a pop up at a barbershop. Yes. Three, uh, 3,500 people signed up to go. Wow. 2,000 people showed up. Nice. And I think like. 700 500 500 300 i don't know he should not that many people got in line. dude he got it going oh yeah. that cricket boy yeah. 
<laughs> Does he talk like this? Uh, uh, yes, German. Dude, yes. But he, sp- he speaks full English. I power to people who can speak two languages. It's crazy Everyone to me. can besides Americans. Yeah, I know. Spe- we're dum-dums. Um, like, it's crazy. Over there, every, everyone I was in Europe, everyone speaks English but also speaks their n- regular language because they're smart. Yeah. Americans are stupid. And I know everyone would be like, I'm bilingual. Well, fuck you. I'm not. I know. I'm actually just projecting here. Yeah. And also, I'm so, I'm so upset that I'm not bilingual that it's such a great idea to teach your kids. We could talk Boston. Yeah, no, we could talk Boston. <laughs> the That's fuck you mean <laughs> <laughs> on on dogs <laughs> you don't even know what that means yeah you wouldn't no but uh i'm so upset that i'm not bilingual and i know you're supposed to uh it would be like a good idea to teach your kids while they're young yes. another language but they uh, nope my kids aren't gonna know another language and i don't yeah they're gonna talk shit about me to my face and i can't even uh, i can't even slap them i can't i don't even, know what they're saying i can't even get down gibberish no that used to piss me off as a kid me too cousins talking about me in gibberish just like fuck you i i i heard gay in there somewhere mm-hmm Got a gay? Mm-hmm. Well, fuck you. Yeah, I'm not gay. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm I still not sure. It's so many years. I know. So anyways, uh, what the hell was I saying? Oh, German DJ. Yeah, but mm, My guy. Uh-huh. He's hilarious. He mm. cracks me up. He's baby boy. Okay. He looks like a little tiny baby boy. He how old are we talking? disclose how old he is. He will not. Why? Because he likes to keep it ambiguous, but he... I don't like when people do that. Sorry. Red flag. Keep going. Love this guy, though. Album's fire. <laughs> Home run! <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like a fun little game. We we okay. we did a um, man on the street with him, mm-hmm. and I was asking all these people uh, in Washington Square Park how old they think he is, and he gave a different number every time, and it was funny. Mm. That video is coming up it's soon. It's like that guy we met up with on spring break, and we didn't know how old he was. And he <laughs> kept saying, "I'm somewhere between 18 and 35. <laughs> Can I stay with you guys?" We said, "Sure, come on in. We got six people in one bedroom. It's all yours, buddy. You got Adderall." <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. That's another one you can see on Boston Chicks. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's a different YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so that was nuts. Um, but it was so barbershop pop up. Mm-hmm. Lights are on. Camera. It's hot. Action. There's no there's no drinks for people who are drinking. Oh, I brought a I brought a um a energy drink. Let's this keep is, it ambiguous. Any sponsor here? Yeah. <laughs> and I brought an energy drink and I'm drinking that and I'm like. Mwah. I'm glad I brought shrooms. Mm. So I had a little nibble of shrooms, microdose. And then it all got shut down. Oh, the Cops barbershop? Came. Cops bops barbershop. Wait, but why? Because they didn't Too have a license. Loud? Oh. I think. They said you cut in here. They cut in vibes. Uh, yeah, B. Mm-hmm. They cut in lines, too. Shit, fuck. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's cr- That actually blew my mind. Thank you for that. No problem. Where'd you go? So that got over... I knew the people running the running the whole thing, so you know everyone's like, "Oh, where we going? Where we going?" I'm out in the street saying, "Follow, Follow me." me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking. It was like a parade inside my city. Yeah, yeah let's it go. was like oh, like so many people, like 500 people, oh, all dude. just walking to the next. That's destination. a whole run. It was a lot of fun. And then uh, went to um, the scary place that we drive by all the time, and we say, "Oh my god, that place is so scary." Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I never thought I would go in there. We vowed to never go there. I vowed to never go there, but mm-hmm. you know, I was leaning the parade. You have to go I there. Had to go. I wasn't gonna just drop all my kids it's off the at the parade inside my city. <laughs> I had to go to the rape. So we went to that, and then uh, it was fucking incredible. I thought the floors were gonna fucking concave because everyone was going so electric mode, Rod Wave style. Rod Wave style. Holy shit! The one kid came up to me, and I he, he had like a, a familiar face because he was uh, an attractive young man that I found um, attractive. Attractive. <laughs> and yes, that's exactly what it was. And he came up to me. He's like, "Hey, do you remember me from uh, Fort Lauderdale?" And I'm like. I think I have dementia. Like, and no, I'm dude, s- because you shotgun six drinks in Fort Lauderdale. We watched that video. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> we watched a, sorry, pause, but we watched, because she was telling me this story before, and we were trying to recall who this person was, and we were watching old videos from when we were in Fort Lauderdale, and we're just sitting there, and our uh, old producer was like, dude, you were on fire. You, like, shotgun six drinks, and you were, like, funneling beers, and Grace is like, dead, yeah. It was chill. And we're like, that's so dope. We were so frat boy. I can't Dude, even. And in, the, in that same clip is um, an edited edited video of my tits just fucking in the water. Mm-hmm. And I, I hope that never saw the light of day. Nipples out. Like, So the producer had to like go in, cut that, see my nipples, and say, yeah, this is good. It, it was hard <laughs> to see, though. It, I, right? I can see him. <laughs> I could I could definitely see him. I could make out two of them. I saw two, yeah. Yeah, I definitely saw two. They were looking yeah. right at me. Like they were eyes. Yeah. Two yeah, eyes looking two. right at you. Maybe he had gl- didn't have glasses on. Maybe. Let's hope to God. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um so yeah, that was that. So mm-hmm. so the kid came out, he's like, You remember me from Fort Lauderdale? I'm like, nah, I have like dementia, sorry. <laughs> and meanwhile, I've had eight Red Bulls. <laughs> I had I 
I totally, energy drinks. <laughs> I totally, oh, energy drinks. Any sponsor here. <laughs> I totally forgot that you can't, can't drink that. Red Bull like that. That's how you die. I did like I I it didn't even register. You're I gonna was gonna be up for literally three days. I thought it was a beer substitution because they're like can't they're the best placebo in the world. They get you going. That's why you need your, you need your body armor. I was gonna say something else. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wear a shield. I need to wear a shield. <laughs> keep going. Keep Pardon. Going. <laughs> I just Anyways. was gonna get in some uh, sponsor trouble, so I stopped. Oh, my oh so pardon, pardon, pardon. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, I'm I'm getting I'm ordering like, ordering them. They're like their beer. They're going down like their beer, and I'm like, this is a great placebo. Somebody comes up to me like, is that like your seventh Red Bull? Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, yeah. Like, is that like your seventh fucking vodka soda? What up? <laughs> and they're like, no, like you can't drink Red Bull like that. Yeah, you're gonna die. And I was like, yeah, but like I used to do blow, and they're like, no, like it's very different. Like your heart could stop. I'm like, yeah, same with blow, but. Mm-hmm. At the end of the night, they I got right. into bed seven no eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> I'm still recovering from how fucked up my sleep schedule is right now because I stayed up till eight thirty in the morning, crushing, crushing Red Bulls. <laughs> eight Red Bulls. I counted actually, not even a made up fucking number. Dude, you are so Sean White for that. And I went to bed and I put my I finally got my eyes to shut and I jolted. Oh fuck that, dude! Everything in my body stopped. It was like one of those defibrillators. Oh my god! It was like yeah, it was oh, crazy, fuck, dude. Bro. I didn't know it could really happen. Maybe you died and came back to life, dude. I well, what was they, on the other side. The fucking life's a blessing. <laughs> what was on the other side? Uh, just uh, dream, sweet dreams mm-hmm. made of me. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'm so, glad you're alive. Yeah, no, yeah. And that's uh, the kid. Uh, that would have sucked. How did your best friend die? OD'd on Red Bull. That's so embarrassing. Super humiliating. So embarrassing. You would have to wear a Mountain Dew bottle in your fucking casket. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's the only logical thing. <laughs> I picture Red Bull drinkers and Mountain Dew drinkers to be the same person. No, no, no. no. Mountain Dew drinkers and, the, and Monster. Mm, you're right, honestly. Very different. Okay, so what soda do Red Bull drinkers drink? Diet Coke? Um, yeah. Okay. I'd say so. Okay. Sprite? No, no. Nah. Sprite's chill. Sprite's casual. All right. I think I think there's tiers. Like Diet Coke people are certain people, mm-hmm. and they're scary. It's like Swifties. Yeah. Diet Coke people are like Swifties. Actually, don't fucking talk against it. No, that's perfectly. Fucking no, that's scary. perfect. That's perfect. Why are you so obsessed with Diet Coke? You're addicted to it. Yeah, they're addicted. You're addicted to there's it. There's an addictive oh, chemical. Can't stop my dad. Tell me Diet Coke. Need my Diet Coke while I sit here. Oh, where's my DC? DC. Shut up. Everyone needs them, and and don't and they, they prefer it fountain. Big gulp. Yeah. Ugh. I fucking hate it. Midday D- DC. I fucking hate that. I hate it. I like it. Diet Coke. I'm not obsessed with it, you know? You, you're not one of those people. I'm not one of those people. Yeah. Do whatever you want. <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck that, though. That's a great analogy, though. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's a good comparison. There. Yeah, I don't really like soda. Yeah, I know. I like ginger ale on a flight. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, it's Why really is it better good. in the sky? It's way better in the sky. Ginger ale in the sky on ice? <sighs> Not the better kid, dude. I know. Oh, on the rocks, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let me have three I, I've more. I've never had one of those since I've been 21, though. I'm strictly drinking on a plane. Mm, I like strictly. Uh, I like to mix in a ginger ale <laughs> in between my glasses of wine on flights. That's how good it is. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, how was the German night? Oh, fantastic! So the kid, the kid came up and he's like, "Do you remember me?" And I'm like, "No, I have dementia." And mm. then I, as he walked, up, oh. Um, and I, I couldn't tell if he was like, you know, like trying to fuck. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. Mm. I could never tell. And, you should um, just start asking you trying to fuck. Like, you trying to fuck right now? Because I'm on eight Red Bull and I can go all night. Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> I'm fuck like a fucking bunny rabbit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I just I I think I just wanted to say that I felt bad that I didn't remember the kid. Okay. But if he's out there somewhere, you could totally call me. Oh, nice. Yeah, Gee. yeah. Just using the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Just cool. using the platform Use for my own personal should, game. As you should. Because I did end up finding the video of him, and I was like, oh shit, yeah. So you thought he was cute and attractive. Shit. Sure. Cute and attractive. Hit him up. No problem. No <laughs> Hit him up. Oh, but um, the reason that conversation ended was because I was like, oh, do you live here? Like, yeah, no shit. I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, so you here. said you do live here? I was like, oh, do you, like, do you live here? He was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but there's nothing. It's so loud, too. I know. And there's nothing worse when, like, you're sober and the other person's wasted. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, my God, am I being weird? <laughs> it's, like, not a good it's not yeah. when you're in a club scene. Everyone should just be wasted. Everyone should just be wasted. Yeah, yeah. I think, don't think so. It wasn't that bad though. Club. Yeah, we I had, had a shrooms. great time and eight rebels. Yeah, so yeah. you technically shrooms and rebels is the perfect combo. Well, Grace was texting me about this, and I was like, "So you weren't sober?" She's like, "Dude, well, yes, I was. I was drinking rebels." But I'm like, "That's like not sober though." <laughs> yeah, no rebels is just like uh, it definitely gives you wings. Yeah, it does, <laughs> it definitely for sure. gives you wings. And then I was like, "Dude, that's an analogy of dying." 
And then I was like, no, no, you no, go no that just gives you electric energy. Mm. All right, enough cool. to enough to do those Red Bull stunts. You ever see those Red Bull stunts? Dude, Red Bull has never switched up. No. Let me tell you, they stuck to what they were, and mm-hmm. they never changed. Seriously, yeah. nothing. I love that. Never love changed them. the kids. Or the, maybe the new flavors, but it's OG Red Bull. Mm-hmm. Wings, always there. Yeah, and we they don't have to change. They don't try to fucking buy people, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They, they just is who they is. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. It's authentic. I like it. I like us. Speaking of Red Bull, Tony Hawk's son? Married Kurt Cobain's daughter. Wow. Crazy. What do they look like? Can we pull up a picture? Uh, two cool white guys. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, their dads are two cool white guys. So <laughs> this baby's got to be the coolest, raddest white kid around. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter. Kurt Cobain's daughter and Tony Hawk's son. All caps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you know what's crazy? Tony Hawk's son looks like Kurt Cobain. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. I'm a little, conf- little bit I'm a little confused. It's, I mean, what a what a great coupling though. It just kind of makes sense. Yeah, she looks like she would uh, play a role on SVU. Does she? Uh, I don't know about her. I don't know. She doesn't. She look like she'd uh, be in a cop show. Does she do any acting or anything? We're trying to get to the bottom of this for you guys because I know you're desperately waiting to find out. Courtney Love. Yeah. Does she does she work though? Uh Francis Bean. What a sick name. Does, does she does she work, the daughter? Does Francis Bean work? <laughs> Francis Bean, all caps, jobs. No, she's just being hot. Good for her. I don't think you got to work with you. She's, not, she's, she's, a model, she's a model. So she's not working. Well. You don't have to. Cool. I mean, you, your dad's Kurt Cobain and your Dude, mom's you're Courtney just, Love. You're Come fine. On. You don't need to do shit. Cool. Yeah. Good for her. Good for them. Good for them. I'm happy. Yeah. Super cool white baby. Super cool white baby. Rad. Cool. cool. A rad, rad baby. A rad, rad baby. little baby. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to sing or skateboard or both. Uh, that's got to be the raddest little kid ever. <laughs> <laughs> just about ever. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever ch- try to skateboard growing up? Excuse me? Did you ever try to skateboard growing up? Uh, you know me. <laughs> you didn't? Pogo stick was my thing. Oh, cool. Oh, dude, that was so sick. <laughs> no hands. Oh, no way. Yeah. I never saw that Trained you. for years. And you never got picked. I never got picked. There's a clown that came to our school every year, and uh, you really wanted to be in the show. Mm-hmm. I desperately needed needed to be in that show. Five years. Gary the Clown. Gary the Clown. No pick. I think I've said it on here before. Yeah, you wrote him a letter. I wrote him a letter. Mm-hmm. And I said, I've been, my, I got a pogo stick for Christmas mm-hmm. in third grade. Mm-hmm. It's now my fifth year here mm-hmm. in this elementary school. Mm-hmm. You don't never picked me, mm-hmm. and I could do no hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> never heard back. Fuck that guy, sexist. Well, any clown coming to a kid's school, I'm weary of. It's sexually weird. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, it just goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that clown. I don't want a clown. I don't want a clown <laughs> Get around that my kids. Clown out of here. Yeah, clowns around kids are weird. And what kids? Hey, like hey, but clowns? it brought us all joy. It was never weird. Oh. So it's like fucked up to say. All right, but. In retrospect, clown coming. I just don't want to. I don't trust my kid alone with the clown. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, let's make sure the chaperones are there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play our exact replica game? Yes. I'm actually super excited. <laughs> we stole it from Basement Yard. Yes, we stole the exact. Well, we didn't steal it. We're just exactly copying them because we love them <laughs> and we want to be best friends with them. Uh, I don't even know what the game is called. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have Hannah come in and you basically just ask us questions. And we have to try to answer them. We're gonna keep score. Okay. Quick commercial break. So we've all been there. Gee, there's nothing worse than trying to fit everything into suitcases while you're packing. We live out of suitcases. Espec- okay. Especially me. I'm a weather wimp. I know. You're a weather wimp. But it's coats. so annoying to try to fit everything <laughs> into a little containment or one friggin' suitcase or you just don't know where you're going to fit everything. And you want, you want things to be organized, you can do that with BASE. So BASE was created by actor Shay Mitchell uh, to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. I mean, you should see these colors. Dude, They're gorgeous. I know. Every color you want, really. Every color under the sun. They have um, carry-ons. They have their away bags. They mm-hmm. have all of the makeup bags that you need. They're so cool. Remember I showed you? Did my the makeup bag? My magnetic I, one. I got to get me one of them. Mm-hmm. They're perfect. Uh, there's something for everything with BASE. So their luggage comes in multiple sizes, colors. They're Shorter trips, the weekender bag is super functional and even a place to store your shoes separately, which is epic because we like to get our shoes dirty in this house, okay? Yeah, so right now, Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash plan brie. You can go to basetravel.com slash plan brie for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash plan brie. Make sure to check it out. Yes, we are completely copying it's this from Basement Yard. Love you guys. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, I got vape first? smoke in my mouth. It's, we go together. Yeah, oh. at the same okay. time. And then first. Okay. whoever gets it first, Peyton, will give you a point. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. An animal with the letter H in it. Uh, 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 Hyena. Uh, good. 
Oh, I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm so scared. <laughs> you too many rebels. <laughs> Something in this room with two syllables. Uh, Peyton. <laughs> Very good. Woo! <laughs> A color with five letters. Uh, five. Yellow. <laughs> Yellow. Yeah? Oh. Green. Green. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. A piece of clothing with two syllables. Ah. T shirt. <laughs> uh, you got me good, man. T shirt. I, I was syllable. killing it at first with hyena. <laughs> that was so good. Thanks. <laughs> a fast food restaurant without the letter A in it. McDonald's. Both. You win. You got first. McDonald's. A and McDonald's. Oh, Wendy's. I win. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Not in my world. <laughs> it's Mickey D's. <laughs> oh, yeah, what about Mickey D's? <laughs> a food with one syllable. Pasta. <laughs> ah, damn it. Great. Uh, egg. I said grape. You did. <laughs> Great. Give it to her. Give it to her. Great Thanks. I need a win. Dude, my bad. <laughs> what did you say? Egg? I did. <laughs> that was good. A city without the letter E in it. Rome. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> Utah. Not a Utah. That's not a state. Boston. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. That's your dog's name too because it's double in your head. I know, dude. I miss home so much. I need my dog after it. Fuck. Okay. A musical artist that has a Grammy. Ariana Celine Grande. Celine Dion. <laughs> Celine Dion. <laughs> Ariana Grande. I got it. It was pretty. Does she have a Grammy? <laughs> Obviously. Fact check. <laughs> Fact check that right now. If Ariana Grande has a Grammy, I'm leaving the studio for the day. Dude, they, 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 look who has the Grammys. Look who has the Grammys. People that don't deserve them get them sometimes. I'm not going to say who. Hey, and I'm not saying she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't. <laughs> Dude, she got like 40, right? <laughs> she got mad? Dude, it's Ariana Grande. No, are these awards? Did, did she get the... Did she, are these nominations or did she win these? Click two. She two Grammys. Click she the two, Grammys. She has Where? two Grammys Where? right there. It says it. For what? Thank you next and fucking... <laughs> what else? Long uh, ponytail song? <laughs> ah, fuck. Two Grammy awards. Fucking ponytail. All right, you win. We're not done. I don't think. Mm -mm, we have done. a lot more. We gotta cool. get going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just cooking up. Uh -huh. A drink that has the letter E in it. Diet Coke! <laughs> yeah. Okay, That's good. Wow. <laughs> cool. I like this now. A household item that has three syllables. Four. Spatula! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Syllables. I know. I, I'm just trying to say something fast. I can't get the rest of it. I need to get like... The, I get the first part, and then she says you're, the second part, and I'm just gonna it. hope you're to God it works. It. You're killing it. That's the way I'm doing okay. it. An item found in a freezer. Uh, egg. Ice. <laughs> what did you say, Grace? I might have said, said egg. egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so pretty got that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <it> depends. <laughs> a sport that has three syllables. Hockey. <laughs> hockey. Uh, um, cricket. Ice hockey. Cricket. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, Egg no. hockey. <laughs> a character that Matt Damon has played. Oh, my God. I love him. The Martian. <laughs> That's a movie role. Sonny from Sonny. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm more of a Ben guy. <laughs> a character that Ben Affleck has played. Oh, the Batman. <laughs> Batman's good. What is he in the town? What did you say? I just oh, said, you said the, the town. town. <laughs> What's his acting in that? Uh, What's his name? Fida. Fuck. What are, we, are you telling me? Mikey, Ricky, Danny, Tommy, Mikey, you Joey. You can't remember his name in the town? I just know he's sexy. What's his I sexy name in the town? What's his character's name? Tony? No. No. It's not the Sopranos. No, Tony. It's fucking that. What are we talking about? I know. I know. I know. I know. Fucking Mikey Doug. or something. Doug. Doug. Fuck that. I don't really like that. Oh, yeah. Doug. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. Next question. Two more. A movie that has three words in the title. Oh, the Little color Mermaid. purple. What did you say? The color purple. Oh, I think that, that was, was a tie. That was, that a, was a tie. We both get a point yeah. for that. Tie. That was a tie. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. A country that has nine syllables. Afghanistan. Um, nine syllables. Dude, that's literally impossible. The Soviet Russian government. Antarctica. Nine. The North Pole. Um... Uh, you, you uh, Wakanda. Um, oh, Antarctica. No. Uh, next. What country That's are we the last in? One. United States of America. Is that right? Yeah. Oh my God, we're USA born, raised. <laughs> Do you Christy? just look directly at her and give her the clue? She said it out loud. She said, "I, I need in. direct eye contact, or I can't hear you." <laughs> okay. Okay, then it doesn't count. No point. No, you have it. I'm just being foolish i'm just being a sore loser. yeah but everyone always just says usa usa, USA. no one says I, the united states of america 
I also uh, America has so many names. I know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like too many to keep up with. Like when I'm filling out like where I want my package sent, it's uh-huh. like, well, which one are they calling it today? I know United, United States, States, USA, USA US, fucking America, the United States of America, North America as a whole, like, God's country. About, like, just fucking, uh, fucking what? Do you want another <laughs> score? Yeah. Bree ten, Grace five. Oh, dude, that was so close. That was so close. That was so close. Sounds about right. Cool. Thanks for the basement, guys, for that. Thank you, guys. That was good. That was fun. We should play more games outside of this job. I'm all in. Mm -hmm. I love playing games. Me too. As long as I don't have to get physical because I'm not good at the physical aspect. That's fine. I'm okay with being mentally weak. Oh. But physically weak, it's just aggravating because I know what my body should be doing, but it just won't do it. How annoying. It's, yeah, it's I don't just, think you're physically weak or mentally weak. I think you're strong all around. Well, I can pick things up and I can put them down, but I can't, uh, you know. Play games. I basically. can't really, you know, yeah. Flag football? I want to play tackle. Dude, I wish my parents put me in hockey. I know. <laughs> ice hockey, Do you know that frank. the ice hockey girls <laughs> can't check? How sexist is that? It's such bullshit. Wait, why? I don't know. Dude, same with girls across. You can't, there's so many different rules and you can't wear pads and you can't, like, hit and stuff. You can only hit sticks. That's ridiculous. I don't even want to play. I know. That's actually, what the fuck? Why? Because we're girls, we can't hit. Like, we're already in our own league. Let us fucking be in our own league. Have you fucking seen the Barbie movie? (sighs) Dude. Christ hasn't. Yes, I have. I know. I'm just joking. You wore pink and went to the movies. I did. I know. By myself. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, cool. I'm having a, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, we're gonna. All right, yeah. I'll just go make some marshmallows. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see, you guys. We're gonna make marshmallows. 